I'm Dr. Scott Brown, functional neurologist, and today I want to talk to you about osteoporosis in a little different way than maybe you have thought of it. I'm not going to go into the risk factors and whether or not it's a normal part of aging and all that that I'm sure you've already read about. We're going to look at it more from a causative effect. And so most of you who have had your bone density test and may have a problem with osteoporosis have been told that you're losing bone calcium, but the question is why it happens. And so this is going to be completely unique, so pay attention. When we look at our immune system, we have two lines of defense. First of all, our respiratory system, our mucosal barrier in our gut and in our lungs, as well as our blood-brain barrier and our skin are our first line of defense. But when invaders uh, come past that first line of defense, then what happens is our inflammatory phase, or what's called uh, Th1 um, immune phase kicks in and produces what's called macrophages, which are like little soldiers that destroy the invaders. And this is an inflammatory stage of immunity. And once the invaders are successfully um, destroyed, then the uh, second phase, called Th2 um, dominant phase, produces B cells, which will then produce the ability to sweep these invaders' dead bodies out and get rid of the system. And so in a good immune system, both sides of our uh, immune system are working in harmony, killing the invaders and then getting rid of the debris. But what happens in people that have uh, one of these two systems that become dominant, or you, when you have an autoimmune disease, uh, even if it's subclinical, so not necessarily Hashimoto's or Addison's or lupus or MS or other autoimmune diseases, but subclinical autoimmune problems, what will happen is one of the Th2 lymphocytes called interleukin-6 will stimulate bone destruction, and that's called osteoclastic activity. And what will happen first is you'll have that stage of just a slight degree of bone uh, loss called osteopenia and then it will progress or can progress into full-blown osteoporosis. Now most of you have treated, if you're treating it, with a drug called Fosamex, whose side effects include osteonecrosis, um, gastrointestinal dysfunction, anxiety and social avoidance, chronic, uh, or excuse me, congestive heart failure, hypertension, kidney failure, inflammation, and the list goes on. So, <clears throat> where we differ in our approach is that not only do we not look at osteoporosis as simply a loss of bone, calcium, but also we look at it as the process of an immune failure. And if we don't address that immune failure, then the osteoporosis will occur in spite of your best efforts at supplementing and at taking drug therapy, which since it creates an inflammatory uh, condition or an immune condition itself, seems like it's defeating the purpose. Um, some of the things that we are going to want to do with uh, supporting the regulatory T cell systems, we want to make sure that everyone is, uh, has good vitamin D levels. So if you haven't had your vitamin D levels checked, we do that as a part of our blood work. We also want to make sure that you have uh, glutathione supplementation, uh, which is the main antioxidant detoxifier in the body. Um, plenty of omega-3 fatty acids, uh, and make sure you have enough hydrochloric acid in your system. There are things other than the traditional things you think of with osteoporosis that need to be done to support the immune system. If this sounds like it makes sense to you, um, I would be happy to put you on our waiting list um, uh, to see me as a doctor. Uh, but before I even see you, I would want to spend uh, at least a five-minute phone consultation with you to see if this is the right fit for you. You can look up my website at www.browncnc, that's brownchiropracticneurologyclinic.com, browncnc.com. If it's a fit, then I would like to help you with your condition. Thank you.